Right then, that's Super Saturday done and dusted, and we're yet to reach 3 o'clock. How crazy is that? It was a good day of racing all around. Some good horses were obviously going around being Super Saturday, and some good results. As we take a look at how the races ranked, the new market, as expected, well clear of everything else. I think the second highest ranking was Von Hawk in the Shaftesbury Avenue, and then it was Autumn Angel in the CUNY Stakes. Those are the three replays we're going to be taking a look at. The new market, the CUNY, and also the Shaftesbury Avenue. Um, in terms of the rest, I think it was Young Wear the fourth, Hedged in the first, ran fifth. That's a good horse, a progressive good horse, Hedged. Eternal Flames, sixth. Settled more forward today and got some luck in running, which is something that it hasn't experienced for a while. And then Legacies and the winner of race four, Traffic Warden, seventh and eighth. Let's get on with the new market. Watch gate one. If you want to see it's our time, miss the start. It stumbles a bit, flops out the stalls. That's its race all done and dusted. Imperatriz didn't jump away too badly, but it wasn't also the best out and got stuck behind Ruthless Dame in the early stages of the race. They split into two divisions early, but they formed back into one. The Astrologist jumping better today led. I thought the Astrologist would lead in the Lightning last start, but it missed the start there. Redeems itself, but actually um, Cylinder, the eventual winner, tracks the Astrologist. Um, and they're still split. Magic Times a fair way off Skewiff, and Benedetta's also in the outside group. Imperatriz is getting protection from the northerly wind, which is good, but pulled up with EIPH, so that's a an excuse to why it lost. It probably should have won because it pulled up with EIPH. Buenas Noches also pulled up lame. That's why he couldn't go on. Um, in terms of the others, Shrupa was disappointing below par, probably comes to the end of its preparation. Cylinder always looked like the winner from about the 300 metres. It hit the front a long way out, soared down the outside to beat Imperatriz in what was a great story with the lightweight and Dean Holland last year riding in secret when Jamie Carr was supposed to. And it was great post race scenes on racing.com. The CUNY stakes for the three-year-old fillies was taken out by Autumn Angel as they jumped the gates. The well-backed Grinzinger Bell misses the start, the most likely leader in the race. And it doesn't have the early speed to kick up on the inside of its stablemate Sassy Boom and hold the lead. So that was already a problem for Grinzinger Bell. No lead, no Grinzinger Bell. Sassy Boom got to the front having to do a bit of work, but then slowed it up, tried to slow it up to get, well, not necessarily protection from the headwind, but just to uh, make it do less work into the headwind. So glamorous, went more forward today, settled outside the leader, but that didn't do much for um, that horse. Sarasana ended up racing into the headwind, being one off the fence, and so glamorous, sticking to the inside to get protection from the wind. Molly Nickers, Ben Mellon loses the race by going back to the inside. Should have just let Grinzinger Bell come in um, and track Grinzinger Bell into the race. Would have been where French Endeavour is in the yellow cap with the yellow sleeves and the white at the moment. Um, Autumn Angel, the winner, is tracking its stablemate Molly Nickers, and then the rest of the field are all are all battling in this class. Um, but as they turn in, Sassy Booms led it at just moderate sectionals, but it looked like all the leaders slash on paces um, just didn't run up to expectations. Autumn Angel was able to get through the gap, whereas Molly Nickers is still looking for room after it has to come off the fence. French Endeavour looks like, well, Molly Nickers should have been where French Endeavour is, and it would have been giving it right to Autumn Angel at this stage, but has to pick up again, actually fatigues or um, gets tired on the line, and Autumn Angel just holds on. Basilina, a really good run in second. The Shaftesbury Avenue saw a field of six horses with an odds-on favourite, Amenable, and as they jump out the gates, Amenable and Savannah Cloud, the horse... The two horses that were first and second in the run were the first two out of the gates. And Amenable, right from the moment it leaves the gates, has that arch neck. I'm not sure it's a, that's its new running style, this preparation with the gelding operation. But, yeah, I'm not sure what to make of that. If anyone wants to let me know in the comments what an arched neck means when running, or that's just a trait that some horses have, then let me know. But Amenable leads at very slow sectionals. The thing that gets it beat, in my opinion, is uh, leading into the headwind from the 1400 start. I know Young Werther and all them were able, and Vibrant Sun were able to um, run into the headwind and run good races, but 
the 1400 meter start is different because they're basically into the headwind from the gates. So I think that's what loses Amenable the race. Savannah Cloud drops off and that was another horse run in the market. So I think Amenable's run well first up, but will take improvement from the run. The import with a big spruik on it, Berkshire's Shadow did naught, might have needed the run. Von Hawk comes off the back of Savannah Cloud, having had protection from the wind and really picks up Amenable late. I thought Amenable would kick again when D-Lane asked for the effort, but... Von Hawk just kept grinding to the line and maybe with the race fitness uh, was able to get Amenable late. But Amenable, I still think, is a better horse, was the best horse in this race and you've got to be following it into its next start. Well, thank you everyone for watching my race day review of Super Saturday. I hope you enjoyed. What was your favourite moment of the day? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.